and after I fully healed, I'll tell you how the process. They said you should have been one that has like a time. to my youtube channel if this is your first time thank you so much for clicking this video and wanting to watch it today is a very important day in my life and i'm going to be sharing it with you guys i am getting my eyes lasered so i know i showed you guys i wasn't going to do it this year but after much thought i just gave in so i'm going to be taking you guys along i'm going to start getting ready i've spent this whole week like praying in my heart and just trying to like hope that everything goes well i would give you guys like the whole load down after i'm done and after I'll fully healed i'll tell you how the process went and stuff like that things that i did to get ready but in the meantime i'm just going to take you guys with me throughout the day so we're going to be going to the hospital but we need to go pick up my prescription from cvs and then once we're done there we'll then start heading to the clinic my surgery is at 1 p.m <laughs> So I have to be, we have to start leaving because it's about like one hour drive. So we have to leave at about 12. So if we leave like around 11, 11.30, we'll go to CVS, pick up the medication and we'll start heading to the surgery location. I feel so bad because I'm not supposed to, you have used my eyes today, but I've been on my phone all morning. I've also been watching TV and I'm not supposed to do that. So after I shower, I'm just going to shut my eyes for a little bit and see if I can like not use my eyes at all. So yeah, I would um, take you guys along, show you guys like how everything's planning now. Out just because you know if you're interested in getting this done in the future you would have like a full picture from an African who has gone through the process I haven't really seen a lot of Africans do it because we are too fearful for the right reasons so I'm going to be taking you guys along if this is the first time you're seeing my face my name is Adobe Okonkwa Baporo I am a Nigerian content creator who lives and works in Dallas Texas I work as a product marketing manager at a tech company so let's brush my uh, teeth <laughs> I said our uh, teeth <laughs> yesterday I picked out the clothes I was going to wear so I'm pretty much set i already laid out everything i have to show my husband the drops that i need to take so because it's going to be helping me <laughs> Having slight headache because I have been overthinking the whole process. This whole thing took me like two full years of research. I am an overanalyzer. I overanalyze every single thing. So that's why it takes me forever to make a final decision. Let me shower and I'll be right out. I am all dressed. They said to dress comfy and come with a jacket just because it might be cold. I have a blanket in my car, so I'll just take that with me. But I'm just wearing my just an active wear and with this overall so i like this one because it's comfy it's big um they said you shouldn't wear one that has like a tight thing because you're going to be laying this way so you don't want your neck hurting after the surgery so this one is big enough and it just feels normal i'm gonna of course take away take off my clip once i'm about to lay down just so it doesn't hurt my head or anything I have my lip balm i think i'm pretty sad the time is 11 so well 10 52 so i'm gonna go downstairs make sure i pack everything that i need just so i don't go there like you know and then looking for stuff so but this is the last time you guys are gonna see me wearing glasses it feels so emotional but yeah my glasses you guys have done me so well and i've been using glasses for almost my entire life i started using glasses in second school i think i was in jss3 so three years four years seven plus five for more than for more than 13 years i've been using glasses and it's high time baby okay so we're gonna go downstairs and make sure we have everything that we need and uh, we'll go to cvs Bye. <laughs> So 
we just arrived my heart is literally beating so fast but yeah i'm not gonna i'm trying hard not to think about it but we're gonna go in now i have to make sure i take everything that i made arrived guys i'm so nervous but <laughs> my husband is here for moral support perfume and face lotion i wasn't explicitly told that so i have to i might have to wash my face um please where's the restroom um just right past the elevator okay thank you marianne i didn't realize i was not supposed to apply face lotion on my face right it's okay. oh it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. oh okay i didn't realize that we're not supposed to apply face lotion I know you're not supposed to wear makeup, but I didn't know about face lotion. So luckily, I had gotten this. This is supposed to be like a body care stuff, but I've gotten this, so I just went to the bathroom very quickly to wash my face. Hi, Hi. how are you? Very well. We're gonna go right here there. Thank you. Okay. She's gonna walk in there, so you follow her. How you doing? Good. How's it going? Yeah, that's nice.
fast. <laughs> That's the key, is it's fast. Okay, everything I want to tell you is written down. Number one rule after laser eye surgery is we don't want you to rub your eyes. It's going to be kind of tempting to reach up and rub them here in a minute because the anesthetics when we're off, they're going to feel kind of scratchy. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make you wear these cool goggles. I'm going to help you. Okay, you grab them like this. I'm just going to put them on together. You can rearrange if you need to. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to wear those goggles and leave your eyes closed for two hours. So even in the car on the way home, mm -hmm. eyes closed, goggles off. Two hours is over. You can take the goggles off. The rest of the day is kind of stay inside, watch TV. It's a good day to be inside. Mm -hmm. Tonight before you go to bed, goggles back on. I want you to wear those while you sleep tonight. Mm -hmm. The paper says to sleep with them for like a week, just one night. So I need the PRK one night. So that's that. It's okay to shower. A little soap water and dry won't hurt you. You don't need to wear goggles in the shower. We don't want you any kind of pool or hot tub for about two weeks. So no swimming for two weeks. Now eye drops, you have three drops to use. We're gonna do all three drops four times a day. There's there should be three drops. You have them with you? Yeah. You might have two of one. There's one that you probably have two bottles of the same thing. Let's look at them together and we'll see. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and we'll talk about it again tomorrow. But you're going to do them like that for about four or five days and we're going to pull them back a little bit. Okay. okay. So this two are the These same. These are the same. Okay. Yeah, those are the same. And then there's a Medrol dose pack in here. You just keep taking that, okay? That's the package of steroids. Thank you. Right. I can see how this clearly Yeah, I got that. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. We're going to go this way. Hey guys, so I just finished. Um, I have to wait for my husband to finish his meeting. But as I came downstairs, I put on my sunglasses. My eyes are super Lord. sensitive to the sunlight. Oh, <laughs> oh I can't see. I'm telling you. I, and as I put on my sunglasses, because I wanted to test out my eyes, I could see. Right now, my eyes are super sensitive. It just... It feels all, I feel like I need to sleep. You know, the way I feel is just like when, you know, when you're supposed to sleep and you haven't slept, like my eyes just feel tired. That's the word. But um, other than that, I can see, I mean, when I opened my eyes, the doctor said not to close my eyes too much, like not to squeeze my eyes shut. So that's what I'm trying not to do. So that's what I'm trying not to do. So I bought my eye mask that I got from Amazon and then I have the shield that they gave me so I don't rub my eyes. But it is so freaking bright, I can't open my eyes. So I have to keep my eyes closed. Um, we're gonna get Chick-fil-A because I am famished and then I'm going to just devour that and we'll start heading home. The whole total ride is about one hour, five minutes, including our trip to um chick-fil-a so once we're done then uh we're gonna head home and then i'm going to take a long nap nothing hurts it doesn't feel it's not painful but i'm expecting that it's gonna be because like they said uh the second third fourth they are usually the worst so i've prepared my mind mentally but yeah that's what i wanted to basically share with you guys when i got there i uh, had to wait for about a good 10 15 minutes before somebody came out so i think everybody was already involved in the surgery so when when they were done uh, they saw that we're waiting they gave me some paper uh paper forms to fill well paper Paper work to just sign I mean so I signed them they weren't long I think the total number of signatures that I did were like four or yeah four for about four of them and then at that point they asked me if I had any allergies to any medication I told them no and once I told them no they gave me um, a Valium I think it's five milligram or 50 mg I'm not sure but they gave me one tablet and then a small cup of water to drink it so uh, I drank it I don't know if you did anything for my anxiety because I was feeling really anxious when I sat on the chair but um, overall I feel good I think it's just supposed to help you like sleep afterwards so immediately I, I came out in the waiting room I started feeling sleepy my eyes were feeling tired so once they gave me the Valium they walked me in I mean you guys saw it already but I just want to tell you the parts that you missed they put on the hat cap on my head um put some drops numbing drops on my eye the doctor came and then tested how numb my eyes were by putting a sharpie in a sharpie marker in like just put on the, making a mark on the eye i didn't feel it that much but i did feel something so before they operated on me they had to add more 
um, numbing drop and anesthesia drop into my eyes. So when they when they sat me down and I was under the, this thing, he was very like uh, the surgeon, Dr. Dr. Bowman was so sweet, like he was awesome. So he was walking me through all the things he was doing. They first of all take, closed my, taped my the eyes that they were not working down, and then they now uh, taped with clear tape the upper and bottom part of my lashes, and then they put clamps in to um, open my eyes. I think the most uncomfortable thing was the clamp that they used. So once they did that, they used something that looked like a brush, um, a round brush thing. Oh, I feel like that's the scraper or something. Before they did that, they poured some drops into my eye. I think that's probably the alcohol that because I did some research and I think there are two types. If they put this, well, I don't want to go you walk you through to the gory details. So they poured the the drop and then they use the sand the the that round brush thing to just scrape off the top layer of my eye. Once they did that, uh, I just move it around. They now use the one that looks like a brush to just make sure that everything was moved out properly. Once that was done, they set my eyes under the laser. I could see a red dot and um, I could smell like burning hair. So giving you a heads up, that's not my eyes burning. It's just the gas that the machine exits. Uh, uh, you know, um, the, the gas that the machine brings out. So nothing to be afraid of. Your eyes is not burning. So once they did that and then I was underneath the this thing, the blinking light, it was blinking for a while. It turned to rainbow with green, red and black colors. Um, it kept doing that and then next minute I saw that they put like a round uh, cutting board on my eyes uh, just to clean it off. Poured water, cold water, poured some eye drop um, and then put the contact lens contact lens aid on bandage uh, contact lens on um and that was it with the one eye so the minute they did that like after the laser did its thing i noticed that i could see the rings in the light clearer <laughs> before i couldn't see shit but when they did that i could now see like that round like even the lights inside the laser i could see it clearly so once they did that they now taped the eye that they were done with and they now did the same thing on the other eye yeah so that's pretty much it. I'm hoping I heal properly. Uh, I think I've done all the right things. I prepped well, did a lot of research, took my medications accordingly, took fish oil, took vitamins. So I feel like I was properly ready for this surgery, but you know, I ended up being a little bit anxious. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Right now, I'm super hungry. We're going to um, get a Chick fil A and then I'll eat and we'll start heading home so I can sleep. When I get home, I'm going to take some melatonin to see if I can see. You wanna eat it now? Um, I'll eat it in the car. Oh, in the car. Yeah. You said to apply, apply them at interval. So you apply one, you wait two minutes, you now apply the other one so that they don't wash each other off. Janine Kudaran Saran Chagan Yuri Bangana your own alarm just in case this one doesn't wake me up okay guys i'm just gonna go upstairs take my afternoon and see if i can't sleep i'm gonna go up i have all the medications that i'm taking and then this one my husband has said not to take the tamadol because it's opioid so i won't be taking that i'll just do with tylenol extra strength which i have on my nightstand so when i feel pain that's when i'll take it but to sleep now i think i'll take melatonin i pray i sleep because the last time i took melatonin it didn't work so i'll just um and then this one is just second of one of the tear drops that i'm using so it feels good though so i've just done this i'm just gonna go up man i need to take my vitamin c up too Alright guys, I'm going up to go and sleep. I'm going to take some melatonin to sleep. But I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. I'm going to end it here just because I don't want to make it longer than it is already. So I'll be filming my recovery as a separate. And I'll be filming my 7 days post-op. So tomorrow, starting tomorrow, will be a new video. I anticipate like the recovery process to be rocky. So I'm expecting that already. And I think I'm prepared. So I'll show you guys all of the, like what the recovery process is like. But for now, I'm going to close out this video here. Thank you so much much for watching this i'm sorry that i'm closing my eyes my eyes feel so heavy but i hopefully will see you on my next video make sure to click the card above to watch my recovery process and i would also be making like a one month 
post up video where i'll be answering all of your questions so feel free to drop all of your questions in the comment section down below and i'll answer them in that separate video on to my next one guys thank you so much Bye.